guys, Dahmer's cool stuff here. And we're going to be cracking some packs of three Fate Reforged, one Cons of Tarkir. Let's see what we'll get. We're going to open up the Cons of Tarkir last. Basically, I'm trying to make a deck based off of Mardu Strike Leader. Went to a local game store, traded in a card or two. Got some credit, picked up some cards, had a little bit of extra credit left over, and I got these bad boys. So, let's get to cracking these packs, folks. What are we looking for? Foil, Ugin, Soulfire, Grandmaster, Fetchlands, Will of Naga, Ancestral Vengeance, Cunning Strike. Abzan Rune Mark, Hasha's Disdain, Whisper of the Wilds, Collateral Damage, Teamer Rune Mark, Right into Being, Bathe in Dragonfire, Kasari High Priest, Sacrifice another creature, manifest the top card of your library, Battlefront Crew Shock. Battlefront Crew Shock can't be blocked by more than one creature. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it can't be blocked by more than one creature. Wild Slash. If you control a creature of power four or greater, damage can't be prevented this turn. Wild Slash deals two damage to target creature or player. Warden of the First Tree, folks. Boom! Look at me. One green, Warden of the First Tree becomes a human warrior with base power and toughness, 3-3. Three, three. If Warden of the First Tree is a warrior, it becomes a human spirit warrior with trample and lifelink. That costs, the first ability costs one colorless and a hybrid, and a hybrid white black mana. The second ability is two colorless and two hybrid white black mana. And then if Warden of the First Tree is a spirit, put five plus one plus one counters on him. That makes him an 8-8. Eight, eight. Trample lifelink creature, if you can pull it off. It requires three colorless mana and three hybrids. And a Scoured Barons. Cool, I needed that. And a Manifest Token. So far, pretty good. Pretty good. We're just going to put the Warden right there. Warden of the First Tree. Cracking open the second pack. Asher and Cleric, Abzan Advantage, Avon Surveyor, Typhoid Rats, Ithril Ambush, Whisper of the Wilds, Collateral Damage, Teamer Rune Mark, another Right in a Being, another Bathe in Dragonfire. We got a Ugin's Construct. Ugin's Construct enters the battlefield. Sacrifice permanent. That's one or more colors. Another Wild Slash. Sage's Revere. Enchant Creature. When Sage's Revere enters the battlefield, draw a card for each aura you control that's attached to a creature. Chance a creature gets plus one, plus one for each aura you control that's attached to a creature. And Dragon Scale General. At the beginning of your upkeep, bolster X, where X is the number of tap creatures you control. Ooh, and another Scoured Barons. The reason why I'm actually getting excited for the Scoured Barons is I need them for the deck I'm building. So, so far, eh. Now, third pack of Fate. Hooded Assassin. Aetheral Ambush. Abzan Advantage. Refocus, young lad. Dowsing Gloom. Another Will of the Naga. Another Bathe in Dragonfire. Map the Wastes. Lightning Shrieker. Anok Guide. Battle Brawler. As long as you control a red or white permanent, Battle Brawler gets plus one, plus zero, and has first strike. Hero's Blade. Equip creature gets plus three, plus two. Whenever a legendary creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may attach Hero's Blade to it with an equip cost of four. Asherin Warbeast. Whenever Asherin Warbeast deals combat damage to one or more blocking creatures, manifest the top card of your library. And Sandsteep Mastodon is our rare. 
When Sandsteep Mastodon enters the battlefield, bolster five. And a Tranquil Cove. Oh, that breaks the cycle of the Scoured Barons, but we got another Manifest card. Token. And now the main event, hopefully, the Cons of Tarkir pack, folks. Getting better at opening packs. We have Scaldkin, Arrowstorm, Debilitating Injury, Smoke Teller, Windskag, Scarred Crag, Kill Shot, Teamer Banner, Force Away, Bring Low, Rugged Highlands, Dragon Grip. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, you may cast Dragon Grip as though it had Flash. Enchant Creature gets plus 2, plus 0, and has First Strike. Ruthless Ripper, Death Touch, Morph, reveal a black card. You may cast this card face down as a 2-2 creature for 3. Colorless, turn it face up any time for its Morph cost. When it's turned face up, target player loses 2 life. Murderous Cut, cool, I needed that. Uh, delve, uh, destroy target creature. Narset, Enlightened Master. I already have her. Uh, first Strike, Hexproof. Whenever Narset, Enlightened Master attacks, exile the top four cards of your library. Until end of turn, you may cast non-creature cards exiled with Narset this turn without paying their mana costs. Uh, you know, I have her in my commander deck that I need to really fix up. We have a Mountain and a Warrior token. All right, so for our rares slash mythics, which we actually got two of them, Sandsteep Mastodon, Dragon Scale General, and then Narset Enlightened, but really happy with the Warden of the First Tree. He's not worth too much money. Totals are going to be right here. But for the deck that I am building, which I am basing off Mordu Strike Leader, well, I didn't have many more Scoured Barons, so getting Scoured Barons was actually pretty cool, on top of getting the Murderous Cut that I needed as well. So hey, more power to me, I guess. This is Dahmer's cool stuff. And as always, do good gaming.